let's say let's say that you have the fear of change, right? I'm excited about the possibilities that all change brings in my life. And you go to the next bead. I'm excited about the possibilities that all the change brings in my life. Next bead. I'm excited about all the possibilities that change brings in my life. And you do it over and over and over and over and over again, 108 times. So you go through the whole beads and you'll see there's a way to, to know when you finally finish all of them. And then you just go out about your day. Because if you have the fear of change and you're fearing change to be diff that are coming up in your life, but you say, I'm excited about the possibilities that change brings, and you start making that your dominant thought, then when things start to change, you don't get afraid of them anymore. But you're like, oh my gosh, I'm kind of excited for what could be. And so what you do is you're using these mala beats to actually start to reprogram your dominant thought. You're an adult now. It's time for you to reprogram yourself and not just go off of the programmings of your past and when you don't even know where they came from most of the time. For me, I speak to myself all the time. I've been doing this for years and years and years. I speak out loud to myself all the time. Literally, even, even today, I was doing it when I was, uh, I, I took the baby from my wife today and he was crying and he was freaking out a little bit and nobody in the, the house could calm him down. I was like, I'll calm him down. I pick him up and I have this way of calming him back. So I calm him down and I start, you know, he, he, he stops crying within like 15 seconds and then I'm walking up and down the hall with him and I'm saying, we're calm, we're cool, we're collected, we're calm, we're cool, we're collected. And I'm saying out loud, and I don't know if it's influencing him, it's influencing me, and if it's influencing my vibration, he's feeling it, right? Whether it's my vibration that changes, whether it's my, my, my scent that changes, whether he smells it on me, or whether he just knows that there's a difference, he gets really calm when he's around me, and because I always try to calm myself. So I speak out loud to myself all the time. When I get into the gym and I feel like I'm, I'm weak and I feel like I'm a bitch and I'm not able to lift as much, I say, I'm powerful, I'm powerful, I'm powerful. I change the music and I talk to myself. And so I speak out loud to myself as much as I possibly can. There's a lot of value in that where, you know, there's definitely good to say affirmations in your head, but when you say I'm allowed to yourself, it's not just in your head, it's also coming out of your mouth, so it's using more of your body, it's creating vibration, your body feels it inside, you're hearing it, you know, your eardrums are actually moving from the vibration of it, and so it's more powerful to speak out loud to yourself. When I feel down, when I feel tired, when I feel lost, I use my phrases. It's like a song stuck in my